Jason and I, I keep a lot of blankets and a bike cover on my bike. Um, this is one of my creations from 98. Bought it in 98 new and uh, just kept changing and modifying. Every winter I tore it down to nothing. Uh, engine, frame, transmission. That's the only thing that was in the, uh, uh, the frame. I take the swing arm off every year, forks. Sometimes the original parts went back on. Uh, this is an FXD Super Glide under all that dust. I got it on the charger right now. Uh, it's been sitting for a while, obviously. I've uh, been working on that, so haven't had a chance to really mess with this at all. I figured I kept it covered up. Uh, there wouldn't be uh, as much dust. Well, I was wrong. I'm also having an issue with mice, so I gotta get this thing out and uh, show it some attention. So I got her out of the garage, um, nasty dirty. Um, evidently, I didn't realize this, but evidently I covered it up too soon when it was still warm. It's got uh, my cover uh, melted on there. Definitely been abusing her by just leaving her. Been working on the Cobra a lot. So I'm gonna get her all cleaned up, get the mouse crap. I didn't realize I had such an infestation, I guess. So I'll get this thing cleaned up, take it for a spin. All right, I know I said I wasn't gonna do any body work until I get to uh, state inspection, but I uh, was jacking around with the hood and uh, just there was quite a bit more of a gap over here than there was over here so I went ahead and took the hood off and uh, went ahead and uh, sanded quite a bit through here and right here and uh, it looks a whole lot better as you can see my marks I got all kinds of sharpie marks everywhere but anyway I've just uh, knocked it down flat I haven't radius the edges yet just because I just stuck it in here just to see how it's gonna look and I think this is where I want it so now it's time to crawl up under the car and uh, go ahead and uh, bolt those hood hinges back on I have some work I got to do to the hood scoop here too, but it's looking good. And next week, next week's a big. All right, I got the hood taped down. I got Gorilla Tape holding it in place. I got the spacers. Basically, these are just cardboard, uh, just some cardboard pieces. But they're all the same size. I have a ton of them. And I got all of them held in place. If you don't hold them in place, they'll just fall under like this. So that screws everything up. But <clears throat> so I held them in with painter's tape. And I got Gorilla Tape holding them in, holding the hood down, and it's held in pretty tight. I haven't gotten any movement at all out of it. So, about to find out if it's gonna work. All right, went to the store and grabbed my drill bits. And uh, when I was there, I decided to look around because I've been wanting to put a no ship bar in uh, the car. By the way, I, I got DeWalt's. I wanted to get some. Uh, some cobalt Makitas, but Lowe's doesn't carry uh, Makita. So anyway, I got the DeWalt's, the DeWalt's, and uh, been wanting to put a no shit bar in, and uh, I grabbed this one. They had another one there that was knurled, and I thought it really looked cool, but it was black, which black would look good if the interior was completely black, which it's black with silver trim, so, and I got the longest one I could find, and I like the look of it, so uh, I got a feeling it's going to catch sleeves and stuff but we'll find out uh, so this is not gonna go on the dash this is gonna go well until I get a look at it that is uh, this is gonna go on the transmission so like this would be the transmission uh, cover and I'm gonna mount it right here like this it's a little low I think so to fix that I bought a smaller one and this one is was like four dollars this one was nine bucks this one was four bucks for a smaller one um, because I'm thinking of hacking that off with a hacksaw and extending it, just extending it. Um, it'll look less, I guess, if I put a spacer on there. Eh, I, I, I don't wanna get a different color, so I figure if I take this, knock that off, it's gonna make it that much taller, you know? So I think it'll be, uh, I think it'll look pretty good, but we'll see. But uh, yeah, this is just my first attempt at a, uh, uh, an oh shit bar or whatever you wanna call it. All right, so just got my wife's approval for her oh shit bar. 
where she wants it put. And right here is where she says she wants it. Her hand just goes to naturally rest there anyway. So it'll be just like this, which if you look at all the chrome pieces here and there, everywhere on the interior, I think, I think this was a good choice to go with chrome versus black. So anyway, <clears throat> so it'll mount right here. I'll end up taking this, this out, um, completely out. So that way uh, I'll probably end up putting a cup holder in here too. But for right now, this will go here and then it'll be raised up a little bit more because of those pieces. I'm going to cut off the other one and mount it in here. If I like it, I'll leave it. If not, I'll chuck it and move on. Um, also, I'm going to add a piece of steel across here just as something where she can grip onto. It's not going to rip through the aluminum. So I'll stick a piece of probably 3 16 maybe a little bit thinner through here. And then uh, the cup holders are also, uh, I believe they're stainless steel or aluminum. So one cup holder or two, I don't know just yet. We'll see. So here's the cup holders. Um, this is, uh, I have two of them. They're really big. Uh, I could probably put a lot of different uh, beverages in there, but main thing would be for coffee or some water or something like that. And they actually got the drain holes too. They're for a boat actually. And then also I picked this up at a swap meet. Of course I would clean it up, but I thought a cool ashtray in the front would just add to the retro look, but I don't know. Uh, if I clean it up, it looks good. I might put it in there, but just another little container to put something in. Okay, so I've come to the conclusion, this end on here, I think I'm gonna cut it down. I think it's on a little, it goes a little too far. So, I'm gonna cut this off, cut this off, toss this, and that will make that quite a bit taller. And that's how that'll mount. But here, I think I'm gonna cut off this section, that much of it. Yeah, just cut this piece off right here. And pieces knocked off Got a little bit of an edge there uh, straighten up a little bit it's gonna be going on to carpet so it's not gonna need to be like perfectly straight this end is gonna be perfectly straight because it's going on the bottom of the uh, the other handle so it's gonna knock it off by sanding it okay so far that's what we got so it's got quite a bit of room to be able to grab a hold so these pieces pretty much just turned into spacers. So I'm going to drill out that little bit of threads. I'm just gonna knock it out. Now I gotta tape this up and I'm gonna cut, cut that little bit off. I'm gonna go ahead and stick this thing in too. Okay, so here it is, um, put together. Cut the pieces off this one. Cut the pieces off this one. Added the pieces I cut off onto here. So that's it. So now I'm gonna go get some, some real strong stainless steel screws to go in here, go up through. Uh, that'll mount to the uh, transmission uh, tunnel. And I'll put a piece of flat bar <clears throat> steel that'll run nice and wide up under the transmission uh, uh, tunnel top. And then I think I may, I may go ahead and cut a cup holder in too since I'm gonna be taking it all the way apart to put this on. So that's it so far. All right, my phone was updating, otherwise I would have videoed this. But basically I just took the, uh, the Dremel around and just kind of cut around the bottom of the uh, transmission uh, tunnel. Did not go through the carpet. I didn't want to hang up on it and jag it cut it all up make it all jagged so the idea is to cut it and make it look like this over here for a cup holder I'm putting an oversized cup holder in here uh, mainly because my cell phone will fit in there 
so that's where it's going to go. Obviously, the other side, but um, I had to take this little drain out of there because it's going to end up hitting my transmission. So that's gone, and I may put something in that, or may I just leave it open just so it. Uh, uh, maybe I'll put something in there. Probably kick off a lot of heat through that little hole. But either way, uh, it's loose right now. So now I'm going to kind of pry it off the carpet, see what I can do. All right, so here it is mocked up. Got the cup holder in, and I got the uh, the oh shit bar mounted here. Just the passenger side, of course. So now I'm gonna get some longer uh, longer screws, and then uh, get some uh, some stainless steel washers, stainless steel screws, and uh, put this in. And I'll wipe off that mark there because I ended up moving it down just a little bit. And then I can get this thing right back together. All right, got some uh, <clears throat> uh, inch and a half screws to fit this, and I got uh, some larger washers. <clears throat> Give it a little bit more bite. A half inch bigger than uh, what I was using. Plus, the ones I was using are uh, some cheap, cheap crap. <clears throat> Probably a lot more than I needed, but that's okay. All right, <clears throat> ready to put this thing back on now. Oh, and just to get an idea of <clears throat> how big this cup holder is, fits a Starbucks cup and a uh, big bottle of water. This is the kind of bottles of water I normally carry, so works perfect. Although that bottle of water in the sun will probably be uh, <clears throat> roasted. All right. All right, she's still dirty as could be, but creature comforts is added. Got a cup holder, stainless steel. Stainless steel shit bar, the chrome, and this is chrome too, but close enough, it looks good. It looks chrome, trimmed in chrome, what's well, black trimmed in chrome. It's pretty much the way all of the black and chrome is gonna work for the interior anyway, and roll bars. And here's an example of a phone in that cup holder. Works pretty good. This is uh, my wife's phone, and that's my granddaughter. But yeah, it fits right in there, really nice. 
and you can shift and it's not going to hit it. Works pretty good. So I'm very happy with the cup holder. It looks good. Now I have to uh, put some bolts in here. I think I'm going to do one about here and then one here. Well, be straight across, but I'll put four bolts in there and I'll probably go ahead and do um, like I did uh, on the uh, shifter bezel here, uh, rivnuts. I'll do the rivnuts.